When you're a destination wedding photographer, traveling thousands of kilometers by car, by plane, possibly by car again, maybe even by boat, you need to know people. You need to know right people all around the world. People like Dan, my dealer from Milan. So what do you have for me today, Dan? I've got the goods. We got two Leicas, M240 and an M6. And also a 35 Sumalux. Ooh. Oh, you're treating me well. Today I'm having a day off before a wedding that I'm shooting tomorrow and Dan is gonna be my second shooter. So he borrowed me his M6 that I paired with my 50 Sumilux and then he borrowed me his own M240 with his 35 Sumilux. So I have two Sumiluxes on me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you with me on that walk. Look at this, look, look, at, look at this place. It's just crazy beautiful. I'm at Lake Como for a wedding that is happening tomorrow. The wedding that has been postponed two years. So it's two years in the making. Can't wait for this wedding. I've been here in Como 10 years ago. So I'm also excited just to be here. So yeah, let me take you on the walk here and let's shoot some Leica stuff. Holy shit, there's a bright. <laughs> I actually did forget to tell you that I'm sporting right now the new Sony 11mm f1.8 lens for APS-C on the ZV E10. Most likely the video uh, with me testing these three lenses also here in Como is already out. So if you're interested in this, check this out. But this whole episode of a vlog is going to be recorded on this combo. So Sony ZV E10 with active stabilization on and 11mm f1.8 Sony lens that's that's what we're doing that's what you see right now this is the frame and the tiny microphone on top of it like holy shit this is big this is beautiful best t-shirt ever. Everyone is like, what? What a cool t-shirt. Kodak, baby. And I'm shooting Kodak Ektar. Wait, this is future magic editing this video. So what I did not realize back then is I wasn't shooting Ektar. I thought I was shooting Ektar, but actually I was shooting Ektachrome, which is quite different from Ektar because it's a slide. So what I actually did when I was shooting M6, I was like on purpose overexposing one stop which messed most of my frames because I was shooting ectachrome so you'll see my messed up shots in this video so yeah lesson learned back to the video Pretty nice view actually. Let's take it from here. Oh, the motorboat is coming. Wait for the moment. You can get the light and that image. So that's again 11 F18 at 18. Pretty dope. Nice background blur. Okay. 
Okay, here's the thing. It's Sunday morning. We're about to go for a wedding in like three hours. But first, I'm reviewing the files from the Leica M240. And I have to say, like looking at them, at the screen here, I really like them. Let me show you. Okay, look. This is how they look on, on the camera. And I'm, I'm pleased, they look really nice. So these are shot with like 35, 1.4 Sumilax. But the problem I have is that if I copy these files to Lightroom, and even if I use the embedded preview, they don't look as good as here. They look normal in terms of the coloring and the general vibe of the image. So there's like something about the screen here, I don't know, or processor? Like, tell me in the comments if you know the answer. So, look, look at the magic here. And now, this is not the computer. This is just a normal uh, a, a DNG file with the embedded preview from the camera. And it looks so different. Here, it like has different colors. It has this washed out look, uh, you know, washed black. So it's like kind of faded. So I actually had to redo my, this is this before. So this is like the straight out of camera. And this is after I edited it with my Magic Adabra preset, but then I tweaked it, tweaked the blacks, tweaked the colors, tweaked the saturation, everything in order to get this look on the right here. But yeah, that's the weird thing for me with Leica. Like, I don't like why, why they're not like this. If the JPEGs were like this, I would just buy this camera right now and just shoot JPEGs. That's what I would do. Seriously. Hey, I have to show it to Dan. Dan is here. Hey, Dan. What's up? So this is what I needed to do in order to match. This is like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a screen preset. <laughs> <laughs> like a back LCD screen preset. This is the 7000. This is the CVE10. Look at, sh show me your cameras. What do you have? Sony. A73, is it? Yeah. What lens? Yeah. 35.14. More Sony cameras. And then I completely lost my voice at the end of the day. So yeah, couldn't even record the outro. But my overall experience with shooting the Leicas, I really enjoy just shooting them. And yeah, I needed to create that preset. If you guys want to get the preset, just let me know down in the comments. I'll probably add this to my Magic Adabra pack. I'll add the LCD back screen preset. Just, yeah, now look at the photos from my M240 and my failure of film photography because I thought I was shooting different film stock. And yeah, that's it from today. Thanks so much for watching the video and see you in the next one.